It's cloudy today, we're in the middle of the desert, and we have this. This is a 2019 Porsche Carrera S991.2. And in today's video, we're gonna cover the beautiful, the good, the bad, and the ugly aspects of this car. My name is Evo, and you're watching God Next. Of course, we're gonna have to start off with the most beautiful aspect about this car, which is its looks. This is a classic Porsche look that the 911 has pretty much kind of looked the same for the last 50, 60 years. And that's not a bad thing because you gotta think about it. Look how pretty this car looks. And this is a 2019. The new ones, sure, you can tell a little bit differences, but they all look the same. So this car could confuse somebody into thinking it's a brand new car. Now it does have the classic Porsche headlights. We do have, these are a little bit more modern, of course, with daytime running lights. And these are the PDLS, which means that these will adjust, you know, as you're turning and everything. It does also have the sport appearance package, as you can see in the front. You do have a little bit of a more sportier front bumper. It does, this one, of course, is a cabrio, which means it's a little bit more wider than the coupe is. But honestly, you can't go wrong with a 911. Whichever generation you go with, in my opinion, this is the second most beautiful generation. The 993 is the first one. And every other one, every other option is wrong. That's the best one, in my opinion. But this is a very pretty looking car. You can't say that it's not because aside from my, some minor changes, this looks like the highest trim Turbo S just without the side vents. Now you may be asking yourself, why the heck does this thing look like a transformer in the rear? Well. That's because this is a cabrio and for you to be able to kind of at least somewhat see, I guess the motor, I mean, you really can't, but this is, I guess the service position to change the oil and whatnot. But the good thing about this car that I wanna talk about is this motor. The one in this car is a three liter twin turbocharged flat six. And ever since 2013, which is when the 991 came out, all of the 911s aside from the GT cars, GT3, GT3 RS, they're all twin turbo. And you know, Power Rangers, of course they differ. The regular Carrera is at like 380. The S goes up to about 420. Uh, and it is absolutely a beast of a car. I mean, this twin turbo gives you a lot of opportunity for tuning. It sounds great. I mean, it doesn't of course sound as good as the natural aspirated cars because you do lose some of the sound due to the forced induction, but Porsche kind of fixed that with the turbos because you can hear a lot of the turbo, the spooling and the flutter when you're on throttle. It sounds absolutely great. And especially when you're revving it, it does sound pretty good. Now, of course, it'll never sound as good as the natural aspirated cars, but I think Porsche did pretty good. Now for the bad aspect of this car, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's kind of hard for me to find something because the 911 is honestly, probably the car that comes close to being a perfect car. Now, the bad aspect of it is these seats. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, of course, you're sitting in a cabrio, it's a coupe. The seats aren't gonna be as great as a sedan. True, but these are the regular seats that, that come in the 911. You can get the 18-way sport seats, which are much better. These, in my opinion, are just a little bit too loose. Now, of course, you're not in a GT3, you're not gonna be on the track. This is more of a daily driver, but I think that the sport seats do, do both things great. They hold you in very well for when you wanna do some spirited driving. And then of course, they're also very comfortable. Now these are adjustable. This front aspect does go up and down so it can adjust down for your where the calves are. And sure, the seats are, they're fine for what they are, but they could be better. And they there is an option to do better. As I said, the 18-way sport seats. Now, let me know down below what you guys think of these seats if you've ever sat in them. I think they're fine for base seats, but I, like I said, there could be a better option and there is thanks to Porsche. And now we've gone down to the ugly aspect of it. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is gonna be a two way street. And it is very hard for me to nitpick things on this car. Cause like I said, it is as near perfect as you can get a car. Now for the ugly aspect is gonna be the price of the car. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, it's a 911 Carrera S. So yeah, it's gonna be expensive, true. But this specific car is currently going for $120,000. That means that the car's retained about 90% of its value since new, and it's four years old. That's, I mean, that's good. So I guess why I said it's a two-way street. If you're the buyer, this is a bad thing for you because you're like, I'm buying a four-year-old 911, I want a discount, and you're basically paying the price of a new Carrera S. I mean, if you can even find one. And then I guess the good aspect of it is if you bought this car new for retail, you're doing pretty good because I mean, the car's pretty much worth what you paid for it. So that's why I'm saying it's a two-way street. It's very, it just depends on which side of the table you're on. If you're the buyer, not very good. If you're the guy that bought it new, you're doing pretty good. 
So you just have to kind of uh, analyze that and kind of see where you stand when it comes to the price of the car. So that is the beautiful, the good, the bad, and the ugly aspects of this 2019 Porsche Carrera S 991.2. Very special car, I absolutely love it, and it's a very quick car for just it being a regular Carrera S. But thank you all so much for watching. If you're more interested in more content like this, make sure you check out our channel, make sure you like this video, and of course, make sure you subscribe.